place? Well, supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> Last question. If there was a footballer spending loads of money mm. but drinking in your pub 48 hours before a game, would you grass him up? No chance. I'd get up. Bet on his team winning on Saturday. <laughs> 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 okay, that's good. 24 Thank hours you. might be a little bit different, but 48, he's got plenty of time to recover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you try okay. not to encourage kids to drink, and you're yeah. saying. No, but it's not a kid, he's a professional footballer. Oh. Should know his own body by that stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl, now we've got a, a couple of uh, pairs of new boots for you now. Here are the first ones. I don't know, where's your uh, These are new Umbro X boots. <laughs> They include new wishbone technology on the outsole, which is designed to support the feet by mimicking the foot's bone structure. It works by relieving stress on the feet, protecting the weaker bones, and therefore reducing the risk of injury. We all know about foot breakages, don't we? The boot also uses Umbro's exoskeleton technology, which gives extra protection to the heel. Uh, they'll be available early next year. Um, they were worn for the first time in this country by Michael Owen against West Ham on Saturday and they did the trick because he bagged a perfect hat trick. This is hit them in action. Spotted some new Puma boots being worn by these players, among others. We've got Lauren. <laughs> David Bentley and Bo Morte. Ahaz Juff. James Beatty. And Samuel Eto. And here they are. I've, these are the new Puma V1.06 boots. They are Puma's lightest boots because the upper is made from an ultra-thin woven synthetic material which gives a leather-like feel and touch suitable for vegans, then. Uh, the boot it's like itself... material. It's like material. Let yes. me tell you, if you wore them against me, I'll tell you what, you'd be off having stitches. <laughs> 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 They're supposed to have a glove-like fit, though. Let me you tell you. Don't get old, old better, old Colin. Embrace the future. No, Come on. Tell you, no, yeah, get ready. I'd have put, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, get ready! I'd, 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 put, I'd put, put some wood, wooden studs on, the wooden ones, you know, yeah. when I used to file them right down, like I'd catch him right on the top of them and then <laughs> rip to pieces. Yeah. Let me tell you, I seen my son the other day, he was going out to play football in gold boots. I said, son, Get some World Cups, get the dubbing on them and get out. <laughs> eh? now, if, you, if you're Thierry Henry, you can get away with it. Eh? And there's not, there's not too many Thierry Henrys. The rest of you know, you see them all with red, white, blue boots. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I mean, do you think if David Beckham can bend the ball, right? Does it matter what boots he puts on, he's going to bend the ball in it? Everybody thinks, oh, we'll buy a pair of these, I'll score a trick like Michael Owen. It ain't going to happen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and then you, We like technology, but it's like we yeah, could all be wearing I, the same clothes. Technology. I've got to, to say, I fancy playing in a pair of those. I think yeah. they look good, and I quite like those as well. See, I just like the fact know. that they haven't murdered any animals to, uh, yeah. to make those. Well, so that's, that's all they do. Embra look come on, embrace technology. Yeah. Embrace it. Embrace the future. Right. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Are we ever going to be getting, getting any boots nope. in again? Right. Um, uh, here's David.